Hey, how's it going? So today we're going to be doing a really interesting thing I've wanted to do for ages, um, which is going into the centre of Norwich um, and asking random people, or bribing random pre people with chocolate to ask, answer a few questions. So here we have our mic, which is not connected to anything, doesn't even have batteries in, but looks official. Um, and yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the general public think about the, the list of questions I have. So first things first is we need to um, buy chocolate. Tesco, uh, hoping they'll let Pips in. If anyone asks, she's my uh, emotional support dog. <laughs> Where's the chocolate? Right. Excuse me, you have Hello. Like three dogs in here. Oh, sorry, oh, can I be really quick, can sorry? I need to take the dog out, sorry. Okay, um, she's a, an emotional support dog. She's an emotional support Not really. <laughs> Matty will look after you, Pips. Oh, this is Matty. No one ever gets to see Matty. <laughs> right, I'll be right there, back. So, I've got Matty's very expensive camera. So, let's try and find some chocolate. Ooh, donuts. Oh, I'm such a sucker. I have to have a dream cake. Every time I see a chocolate dream cake, it ends up in my belly. Wow, 60p each. Okay, let's just do that then. Uh, yeah, that'll be enough, sorry. Mmm, Krispy Kreme. Boom. <laughs> so, just getting ready. A boards, they're all over the place, but they're really handy tables. <laughs> it's like the third A board we've used. Thank you, NatWest. So, I have my nine questions. Hopefully, a Snickers is a. Uh enough of a bribe to answer these nine questions. We need to try and get a good demographic, so young, old, etc. Um, <laughs> and whoever likes chocolate bars, really. Okay, here we go. Excuse me, can I bribe you with a Snickers for nine quick questions? I'm in a serious mouth, sorry. <laughs> no worries, no worries. <laughs> this is why I'm not a reporter or a journalist. May I ask? No, just, no. <laughs> Turns out Snickers bars aren't enough of an appeal. <laughs> they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Excuse me, can I ask some questions in exchange for some a Snickers bar? No. <laughs> door knockers. Whoever door knocks or does stuff like this, ultimate respect. This is killing me inside. Can I ask some questions in exchange for a Snickers bar or two? Uh, no worries. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> can I ask some questions? Oh no. Fair enough. Excuse me, can I ask some questions in exchange for chocolate? At this rate, I'm gonna end up with these all, of my, all for myself. Excuse me, can I ask nine questions in exchange for a Snickers bar? Ah, uh, there we go. We got one! If you won three million pounds uh, in the lottery, what would you do with it? Invest a million, yep. spend a million, and give a million away. Buy a house. And that just a three million pound house. Three million pound house. <laughs> so it's just some questions about money. So, <laughs> hi there. May I ask some questions in exchange for chocolate? Ah, uh, fair enough. Can I ask some questions in exchange for chocolate? No. Ah, oh, everyone loves chocolate. Maybe we should do money instead. What do you think? I think that would work. I'd do it for more money. I think. Fiver. Yeah, definitely. Right. Hopefully people will answer some questions for just money. So, um, thankfully NatWest. <laughs> I'm not endorsing them at all, by the way. Can I offer you five pounds in exchange for answering some questions? Absolutely, mate. Lovely. If you won three million pounds on the lottery, what would you do with it? Well, that's the old people say, you look after your family, but it'll all go to animals. Ah, oh, lovely. Everything. If I had three million, 
two will go to the animals. Ah, oh, amazing. If you won three million pounds in the lottery, what would you do with it? First, one million to go to the blind dogs. Ah, oh, lovely. He'd get half of what I win, 750 grand, and look after my children, and I'd travel the world and fish every sea there is. Awesome. You like that answer, boy? Yeah, it's good, yeah. I'm learning a lot today. I'm learning a lot about um, people's thoughts about money, um, freaking cold, not cold calling, just harassing random people on the street. Um, so yeah, this is, this is awesome. I'm learning more than you guys. Be five pounds for two minutes of your time, just for five a few pounds. questions. Yeah. No, I'm worth nothing. Oh, no worries. Oh. Snickers? <laughs> I have three Snickers. Oh no, you have to. <laughs> what do you think about financial traders? Um, as in like stock market. Yeah, currency yeah, traders. I think and that's, that's a decent way to make money if you know what you're doing. Cool. It's just like one of the, you know, obviously you need to know what you're doing. Yeah. What's the best asset you've ever bought? Uh, car. Car? I think it was my iMac. iMac, lovely. My iPod. Cool, <laughs> iPod, another Apple product. Uh, do you own any cryptocurrencies? No. Nope. Do you own any cryptocurrencies? No. Do you own any cryptocurrencies? No. <clears throat> do you own any cryptocurrencies? Any what? Cryptocurrencies? What no is. worries. Um, do you invest? So you'd have said, no, I'm fast fucking investing. You're here long enough. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your time. Do you know what Cheers. I'm going to do with that? Uh, I, no, I don't know. I'm put it in the asthma thing. Ah, lovely. Right. Yeah. <laughs> cool. That's a good investment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I could do with a haircut at the moment, actually. Look like a mess. Pie. Wow, so that was really interesting. Um, I was actually quite shocked with nearly everyone's answers. Um, in general, most, most people that we interviewed today don't know what investing or assets are. Like, most people didn't really understand invest, you know, the actual verb to invest. Um, and also assets, they, they, they didn't really understand that. Apple products and cars are not investments. Like, how many Apple products did we hear today? Like, at least four people said, oh yeah, best ever investment or was, you know, the iMac or iPad or, or whatever. Lots of people thought that property is the best place to put your money in or what you do if you'd win the lottery, etc. So I'm not necessarily, not, I'm not saying that's a good or a bad thing. However, one thing I, I do normally say is that you need to use the public as a contrarian indicator. So, and the thing is, every man and his dog at the moment is talking about, oh, buy a house, rent it out, etc. But, I mean, the government are trying to really curb accidental landlords and, you know, clause 24, etc. So, there's a lot of people that don't like free money. And it's crazy. Like, I had a, like, literally a wad of like five pound notes and for two minutes of their time, they wouldn't have a, take a five quid note. So. Maybe it's just because of this weird Asian looking person uh, throwing money at them, I don't know. Yeah, most people don't invest. Some said they couldn't uh, afford to, but I think personally that's a poor excuse. Everyone needs to invest. Even if you earn like nothing, like 500 pounds a month or less, like you should still put away 10% of your, your income, regardless who you are, how big you are or whatever. Now, I know we only interviewed a small demo, or like cross it. We tried to uh, like get a, a, a pretty broad spectrum of people from young, old, professional, non-professional, etc. And we only interviewed about 30 odd people, so small data set, but it seemed today that the younger interviewees seemed slightly more switched on than the older ones, but again, it's not enough data to really um, form a valid opinion on. <clears throat> but the, here's a common thing. The majority of people never made a proper mistake. So most people never made a big financial error or a big error in life, which is really interesting. I fuck up every day, literally. I screw up loads. Um, and so what this means is people either aren't putting themselves out there enough to be in the position to lose, which then also means that you'll never see the upside. So there is obviously that sort of seesaw degree balance of, uh, you know, risks versus return, etc. So, but yeah, they're, they're just my thoughts, and um, yeah, and obviously, if you ever want to sort of bribe anyone, don't use chocolate or Snickers bars, so that's it. I hope today's helped. Thank you, Bin Man, and uh, I'll see you soon. Oh, don't forget to subscribe, <laughs> wherever that button is. Cheers.